Hi, Dave in Texas again, and I was doing some recording, and I thought I'd answer some uh, questions about the Rickenbacker. All right, uh, this is the uh, Chinese Rickenbacker that I purchased about uh, a month and a half ago, and uh, the questions were, what have I done to it, and what have I changed on it so far? And to be honest with you, I've not changed a lot uh, on the Rickenbacker yet. I did change the uh, bridge immediately. Uh, as you can see, I put on a roller bridge, which... Uh, helped tremendously with the intonation of this guitar. I made it a lot easier to uh, tune this thing up properly, which it came in very bad intonation. That was one issue. Uh, the other issue was the fact that uh, this guitar's uh, 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 pickups were very weak, in my opinion. Uh, I thought these are not very well made, and, you know, of course I expected that. You know, I was going to replace these with uh, the Rickenbacker Vintage pickups anyway, the toaster pups. But uh, before I did that, I took them out and I tested them and I was kind of surprised. Uh, the uh, the uh, neck uh, tested out at 10 and the uh, bridge came out at 12. I thought, well, those are pretty strong pickups. What's the, uh, where's the power loss? Where's the uh, punch loss of these pickups? I started checking and looked at the potentiometers that came with it. And those are these tiny uh, miniature 500K pickups that the Chinese are really uh, happy to uh, put in your guitars. Uh, they are very easy to work with. They're very small and they fit within the cavity of this guitar very easily. All right. And if you can imagine the pick of the pots being as small as one of these knobs. Uh, that gives you an idea and in comparison the uh, Gibson uh, 500k pickups I put in here uh, they're about the size of a quarter all right and the Chinese are about the size of a nickel so the big difference in size would make it very difficult to fit these in here you have plenty of room over here on the uh, side of the guitar right here and on the opposite side of it plenty of room here <laughs> But none here, none here, and uh, none on the bottom of it either. Just all very tightly packed in there. And I went ahead and used uh, shielded wire, and I uh, also electrical taped that shielded wire so it wouldn't contact uh, itself within the, the guitar since the, the wiring is so tight. Acting uh, uh, the same as uh, uh, a shrink, t uh, shrink uh, sleeve or shrink tube. I didn't have any laying around, so I just used uh, electrical tape and wrapped it around it. And I replaced the uh, three-way that uh, was broken in the uh, uh, original one. I replaced that immediately, too. Now, testing these pickups coming out at 10 and 12, I didn't want to replace these uh, until I had uh, uh, at least given them a shot and put uh, Gibson 500Ks in there to back these things up and power them. <laughs> So there's plenty of power behind it now. Um, <laughs> I wasn't amazed by that. What I was amazed by that the 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 more I powered these uh, puppies up, the more fuzzy they became. They, they weren't really sharp in their their uh, uh, play. If you know what I'm talking about, uh, so it's, it's like a trade-off between power and uh, clarity of the pickups. Well, I, I'd like to have both, and I think that's where the Chinese pickups uh, kind of lose out some. They're not as clear and as sharp uh, in their play as the American pickups. And why is that? I don't have a slice idea. I do know that these, these uh, pickups are not potted. There's no uh, wax around them whatsoever. Uh, that couldn't have a lot to do with it. Uh, but they're fuzzy. And I did shield everything, so there's no, there's no, there's no chance of it being shielding problems. The individual wires that uh, run from pot uh, to the pickups, they're shielded. Everything's shielded. So that's not an issue. Uh, I just think the issue is the uh, pickups themselves are just uh, 
you know, just not that great made. And there's something lacking in their construction that uh, makes them sound fuzzy when you put power to them. It could be why the uh, Japanese had those uh, weaker uh, potentiometers on there powering this guitar. Uh, was it fuzzy back then? Yeah, sort of. But it became more apparent when I put those Gibson 500Ks in there. It became real apparent. But the craziness of it is, what I really want in it are the 330s from uh, from Rickenbacker. I do want to put some 330 uh, pup uh, potentiometers in this guitar, and as well as put in the uh, old uh, toaster pups. And so I can't get that jingle jangle sound again. And uh, I was reading in the uh, uh, Rick uh, Rickenbacker uh, forum that a lot of that jingle jangle has to do with the uh, original strings and how they're set up on the guitars. In that they're uh, flat woven nickel. All right. Well, these are nickel, but they're not flat woven. And I understand I've got to order those special uh, since they don't do it anymore. They don't, they're not. Uh, just really available. They're more expensive, I understand, like maybe $15 a set, which is no big deal. But uh, I want to get that jingle jangle sound, and uh, I can't really produce it as well uh, using my modifying amp. I've tried on different occasions to compress it as well as uh, use some other effects to make it jingle jangly sound. But you can tell the difference. There is a difference, a big difference. And yes, I'm trying to, to uh, you know, copy that Beatles sound that you hear and like so much. And so, uh, you know, uh, memory evoking, you know, when you play that uh, uh, Rickenbacker. So, uh, so far, like I said, I've changed the strings, the three-way, the, uh, the uh, bridge. Uh, I think I'm going to upgrade that to a Wilkerson locking uh, roller bridge in the uh, chrome. And uh, change the potentiometers and the uh, uh, caps out of it. Came up with a much stronger sounding guitar that uh, you know the pups were really producing, but uh, they got fuzzy on me. And uh, I'd like to have that clean sound back again. Uh, you know, like I have with the Les Pauls and the uh, uh, other guitars I've got. So, in a nutshell, that's what's going on with the Rickenbacker now. And uh, I guess the next steps will be to. Go ahead, gut it, take out these uh, these pups, uh, put those away for some other project. And uh, once those are out, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, compound the neck and put the uh, dressing on the neck so that it feels like the uh, Rickenbackers as well, so that uh, compounding solution or, or varnishing that they do. So that's it from Dave's in Texas. That's hope that answers your questions, and uh, you have a good one. Bye.